Tonight, Coastal Carolina Regional Airport had a mass casualty exercise. It's something required for all airports to do every three years by the FAA. Nine on your sides, Adriana Hargrove was at that exercise and she has more details for us tonight. It's what we're always training for, uh, something that we hope never happens. Emergency departments around the area gathered at Coastal Carolina Airport, learning how to respond to an aircraft incident. That's how this incident is instigated by an aircraft contacting a drone and then having a mishap, in this case a crash on the runway. We of course don't have a real airplane, so we have a bus. That bus will serve as an aircraft in the simulation with volunteers acting as the crashed plane's passengers. Volunteers that will uh, be injured and they'll do it tonight by uh, they'll be assigned a, a card that shows what their ailments are. Once fire crews respond to the scene, EMS crews follow. Do you have people that are walking wounded that ju just wander off and now you have no account for them? That's sometimes as bad as actually having a missing person. Airport officials chose to do it at night, making sure to give crews a challenge. There's blue lights, there's green lights, there's white lights, there's yellow lights. So it's a chance for some of our, again, mutual support that don't do this every day to get out there and just simply just look at the environment. Andrew Shorter, Coastal Carolina Regional Airport's director, says this mass casualty drill gives crews a chance to practice real world scenarios. People have it in their mind what it looks like on paper, but then to come out here and kind of walk through it in a very safe, controlled manner, that's what we really need to do. Because